Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. A top city gay Democratic club endorsed Cynthia Nixon over two-term incumbent Andrew Cuomo for governor on Saturday. Nixon won the support of two-thirds of the voting members of the Jim Oles Liberal Democratic Club, which describes itself as a citywide progressive LGBT club. Cuomo garnered 29% of the vote and 5% voted no endorsement. Among the 41 members who voted on the governor's endorsement was Law & Order actress Catherine Irby. The club also overwhelmingly endorsed insurgent Jaman Williams over incumbent Kathy Hochul in the race for lieutenant governor. Public advocate Letitia James won the endorsement for state attorney general. 52% favored James, 35% backed Zephyr Teachout, 8% were for Rep. Sean Patrick Maloney and 5% for Leishia Eve, an upstate attorney. The club also endorsed Democratic incumbent Tom DiNapoli for state controller. Both Cuomo and Nixon are vying for the backing of gay Democratic activists. Nixon, a lesbian married to Christine Marinoni, has ties to the LGBT community. But so does Cuomo, who was hailed for pushing through New York's same-sex marriage law in 2011. Jim Oles Club president Alan Riscoff said members viewed Nixon as the more committed lefty progressive. Cynthia is cutting edge and she's going to push the envelope, Riscoff said. Riscoff acknowledged that Cuomo has championed some good progressive policies. But he said the governor's unforgivable sin was allowing a group of dissident Democrats to ally with Republicans to run the state Senate during much of his tenure. That never should have happened. It didn't have to be, he said. The Oles Club, created in 2004, has a history of supporting anti-establishment candidates. It backed Bernie Sanders over Hillary Clinton for president in 2016 and even backed little-known Zephyr Teachout over Cuomo in 2014. But Cuomo has a chance to snag the endorsement of Stonewall Democratic Club of NYC, the city's oldest LGBT club, established in 1986. The club backed Cuomo in 2014 and will hold an endorsement meeting next month. 